Hi guys, it's Lethal here, and here is uh, my part two playthrough for um, World at War Zombies. We're doing only guns off the wall, and this time we're going to be doing some Nuctur Untoten. And um, hopefully, there's not going to be any audio crackle because I've got rid of those rub that rubbish microphone that I had way too close to me, and I'm just recording it on another microphone. And hopefully, the quality is going to be a lot better. And it might be a little less cringe worthy when you're watching it. But so we're doing um only guns off the wall. So it's um Um what what can I get actually? I think I'll end up getting the Thompson and the trench gun again. And um let me just check how the others. Okay, that's good, that's not gonna show up too much. Okay, so I might buy the car straight away and I'll see if I can go for some good headshots. Oh, I think my sensitivity is up way too high. Whoop. Sensitivity... What are we at? Let's go to seven. Alrighty. So, thing to talk about is, at the time you're going to be watching this, it's going to be a few days away, probably about six or seven days away from the moon's release. Um, I think that map's going to be really great, actually, because I didn't really, like I mentioned before in a previous video, I didn't really think Shangri-La was, which, I wasn't really even that excited for Shangri-La. I didn't think it looked that good, I didn't think the environment and the atmosphere was very good. And after I played it, it was pretty much exactly what I expected. It wasn't really any better or any worse than I thought. But um, I think an essential element for zombies is the atmosphere around it. I think um, that's why the World at War maps was so good, because it really sort of captured the whole zombie experience. It was, it was like more scary than the Black Ops ones. Um, it just felt, just felt more original. Um, because I think a lot of the Black Ops maps really weren't that amazing. Um, I really liked Call of the Dead. Um, but they just didn't have the same replayability as these maps because I remember when I had World at War before Black Ops come out, I literally played Zombies. I would just probably had at least 300 games on Knockdown Totem and I'm still not even sick of it, so... You can tell it's definitely a good, a well-made map by Treyarch, and I think it was very lucky that they hit the map, like they got this map so perfect for the first one, because if they had a, released a map like 5 or something, it wasn't really very good, and I don't think it would have taken off like it has, and it's been huge, the amount of people that have been interested in it and everything, so I'm, um... I'm really looking forward to the moon because I think there's going to be whole new concepts. And also, I can talk about the um, leaked information. Um, I'm not going to put a link to the website, but um, you'll be able to find it around. Um, I, just reading, just remembering from the top of my head, I don't have it on the screen on my uh, laptop or anything. But um, let me just think. They said the third perk gives you a third gun. Um, and the wave gun, if you press left on the D-pad, it, um, actually splits it into two guns, and they both have different, like, attacks, so, um, if you look at the trailer, you can see one shoots, like, electricity, and the other sort of shoots, like, um, that stuff that makes them, like, get fat and explode everywhere, so, um, that might be different just when you upgrade it, but, um, whoa, what was that? But, um, we don't really know, um, we don't even know if this, uh, this leaked information is real, but I'm fairly confident it's real because it does seem pretty accurate, and, um, elsewhere they said, um, there's 10 switches you have to activate to get to the Pag-a-Punch machine, and, um, once you do that, you teleport out of the moon and you teleport to Area 51. And people were rumoring an Area 51 map 
and Trouts have just sort of skipped over that and they've sort of tributed it into this because that's where the pack of punch machine's going to be if all this information is correct and um, let me just quickly get these guys um, and whoop, I've lost track of what I was saying yeah. Um, yeah back to area 51 instead so it's sort of going to be if you look on the trailer there's actually um, a quick little scene and it's like daylight and stuff and it's um obviously a different part of the map. I thought it might have been indoors at first and then I read all this information about it and it turns out that it's um Area 51. And so I need to get whoa well, I think I might just buy that. And then Nothing, I'll head through there by the... Oh, I should have bought the trench gun. My good old favourite trench gun. And then I shall go down and grab the Thompson. And we'll be in business, pretty much. Um, I don't know how many of you guys realise, but um, this is actually the best um, strategy for Nocturne and Toten. You buy, this, you buy these stairs here, you go straight through here, and then unlock this area and you can run a train it's the only place you can run so you go down there you wait down there when there's too many of them you run around here like this and if you're playing um, with other people you get them to cover you as you go across here from the zombies down the stairs that's a actually a really really good place to do it okay what are we at doesn't show me my kills that's another annoying thing about World at War Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. I think it's the way you set up the game or something. But 